your heads and welcome to the League, exploring League of Legends lore from A to Z. My name is Rebecca. And I'm John. My name is Mark. Today, we're talking about the Shadow Isles. It's a region that, on the map of Runeterra, is really in the far southeast, <laughs> kind of separate from everything else. Such a tiny place for the, the big impact it has. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I guess when that was the edge of the world, it kind of felt maybe more appropriate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Then they started putting other things near it. There's all this other shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right, so shut up. What's this, what's it all about, right? What's what's this? <laughs> what's this? What's the one sentence summary what describing is a shadow? the Shadow Isles? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I I, I hit you with it. I didn't yeah. write one down, but I could probably Ooh, I freestyle one, right? Go go go. It's like the Shadow Isles is the haunted ruins of a once great civilization that antagonizes and threatens the world as its power grows ever larger and it looms and has been the um the source of a couple of really big events in in rune terra that were were actually seen through by riot <laughs> for better or worse oh yeah <laughs> yeah right <laughs> they might have sucked ass but they finished it <laughs> they, they they did it they had their wits about them what can i say <laughs> and not all sucked ass that was me sorry riot <laughs> Instead of uh, a, a sentence, can I give a, a haiku? Yes. Oh, sure. Did yeah. you Would write you do a haiku rumors? down? No, but I have one in my head that I just thought. Just of, off so. the dome, you can remember the syllables. I'm. I'm. It's gonna take. I might okay, get it I wrong. Okay. It's only I two numbers. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> you gotta remember them three times. You, you know, gotta remember like... it's a lot. <laughs> right, we can connect. Lot. Connect four <laughs> until we say it's a lot of counting. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's just a I mean, you know. You gotta do it so many uh. times. <laughs> Watch out for the dead. Mm. The oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, the black <laughs> mist is really bad. The harrowing socks. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, you did. Yeah, look at this guy. He's good. Yeah, he's beautiful. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. I like to think I bring a little bit of class to this podcast. <laughs> You do. Like, did it rhyme? Is it really a poem? I mean, you know, who you judge? Uh, yeah, so the Shadow Isles, I would say we talked about a, a lot. <laughs> um, because there's really, like, only one or two really massive things that happen there. And we have gone over it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's not like the long history that we had in Noxus and whatnot. Right. And if this is for... Is this is somehow your first episode that you're listening to... <laughs> We'll we'll sprinkle in a few little like if you want to learn more about this, mm-hmm. listen to this episode. Because if you know nothing about the Shadow Isles, and this is also the first episode of ours you're listening to, you're gonna leave still not knowing a lot about the Shadow no, Isles. No, no, no. We'll go over it. We'll go over it. You get the flavor. The flavor. But, like, the flavor the flavor of but the if you Shadow want that Isles. deep dive, baby, we'll we'll hook you up. What do you think it tastes like? Well, I mean, <laughs> Shadow, Shadow Isles. It tastes musty. Earthy. You know, like musty, mu- musty. Yeah, earthy, mm. musty. Mm. Like your granddad's old cologne. <laughs> mm. Or like leaving yeah. like wash in. <gasps> That's yeah. perfect. When you leave the clothes Ooh. in the washing machine for too long. Oh. Yeah. And they get musty. Oh, That's it. it. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> You'll cast some sort of fucking spell. I can taste it in my mouth now. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined oh, this wine. Oh, man. Now, was the yeah. Shadow Isles always like this? No. <gasps> <laughs> what? I'm glad Should you asked expand? me. <laughs> right? I answered her. Uh, yeah, I mean, we did. Yeah, we did do the, the history of it. So I mean, right? So it's so like you said. Once upon a time, Shadow Isles was not all fucked up and ruined. It used to be called the Blessed Isles. <laughs> eh? It must have been better. The name was better. <laughs> it right? had to be. It's not like Iceland, Greenland. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Uh, Maybe oh man, that will be great. Um and yeah, this capital was Helia. Helia comes up a lot in, in what happens with the Shadow Isles. Um uh, but it was it very advanced, very powerful, but also very secretive. They kind of hid away from the world. Um although at the same time they also collaborated a lot with other cultures, uh like the the Buru, you know, Alawi's people, the Vasani, Ari's sort of Vestayan tribe, just as examples. Yeah, they were big on and, scholars. If you were yeah. a scholar yeah. of the world, you were generally welcome, it seemed. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, it's it is, it's kind of in a, in, a, in a golden age. I think is how I've seen it described in some of the the universe stuff that Riot has out there. And um, another big thing that they did was they they gathered up a bunch of powerful and dangerous artifacts for safekeeping. They kind of decided everyone else was kind of fucking up with all of these cool things, including world runes, and decided that they would be the ones to make sure that no bullshit happened. And to their credit, they were with, doing a pretty good job. With one exception, they were pretty right about that. <laughs> you know what? We can't all be right all the time. Okay? Um, I guess another important thing that comes up that has big ramifications later on for all of Runeterra is that the Sentinels of Light are sort of founded here um which we see in, in the novel that we'll talk about a little bit i guess um they're just uh they, they 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 wield these powerful weapons that are coincidentally very effective against um the eventual ghouls and goblins that will <laughs> haunt the uh the islands and um uh, another big element is a concept of the waters of life it's just sort of this very powerful restorative magical water that kind of runs through these islands right um, which is kind of what started the islands in the first place yeah, like Malachi the islands erupted <laughs> maokai sucked up the good good waters and was like plants mm-hmm. and threw plants he's God. everywhere <laughs> he is kind he's of, shadow yeah, Wild. yeah he's, shadow, shadow wiles he's blessed, blessed isles god. god shadow wiles vengeful yes. god <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, and this is where like champions like like Thresh was, was kind of around originally as just a regular guy about this point. Rise was also a regular guy about this point. Um, so eventually, eventually, this is where Viego fucks everything up, right? Like Viego is the big the big to do when it comes to the Shadow Isles, which sucks. <laughs> like as I say it, I kind of <laughs> you just hate him all it. over again, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> The, the, I mean, if you're familiar with Viego, right? His 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 wife dies. He takes her to the shadow to the, the Blessed Isles <laughs> to get get her healed, um, and uh, it, it all goes it all goes cattywampus, um, and, and the the entire area is ruined, um, and that's what causes everyone's spirits to be kind of trapped there. It, it destroys everything. It turns the islands into the Shadow Isles. Um, this is where you know Hecarim is is turned into a big monstrous um, centaur. Callista was um, Vigo's aunt, funny enough, yeah. and uh, was at, was had been out seeking, ran, found the Blessed Isles, and and uh, was ultimately you know betrayed by by Hecarim and others, and and became the ghoul that she is. And and Thresh had a huge hand in all of these goings on. He kind of runs. He so something bad happens. Thresh just does it. Yeah, he's, he's the one who did it somehow, right? Um, and, and at this point, you know, the Shadow Isles kind of are as we sort of have been describing them. And, and a big thing that they do leading up to some very recent events is Harrowings. And Harrowings are just sort of where... So the islands are covered in an evil mist called the Black Mist that allows the uh, ghosts and monsters to propagate. And they have these things called Harrowings where the Black Mist will sort of surge in power and spread out to other places. Normally it's kind of contained within the Shadow Isles. But... Uh, in Harrowings, it will go to the nearest place where there's life, which tends to be Bilgewater. Um, it's a lot of life. So it's very common. Yeah, it's also the closest it place, that. I think. Damn. Yeah. Poor Bilgewater. Right. I mean, it does kind of suck to live there, but they all. <laughs> we're talking about a place that's like a literal haunted, you know, island chain. So it's, I don't know. It all sucks. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not a lot of living creatures still on there. Um, there's Yorick and Maokai. <laughs> I feel like and now Vex kind of hangs out there. Elise stops mm. by every Elise now and then. Elise stops by to get artifacts. <laughs> um, do I feel like I picked up on this, but do regular people try to go get artifacts too and rarely return kind of thing? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did y'all I was going to ask, did you end up reading the re- the Realms of Runeterra story? Oh, oh shit. I didn't know there no. was one. Oh, I didn't think to go into that. Uh, yeah, I know you we, we talked us. about it like at least twice, right? <laughs> oh wait, was this the uh the daring darling. Um, was that the was that the dinner party one or is that a different one? The one with Callista and Vladimir. Yeah, I wasn't okay. sure it was a dinner party per se, but it's kind of that <laughs> setup. Dinner party? <laughs> yeah, it's a dinner. You know, it's... I'm trying to imagine Callista and Vladimir having a dinner party. But... Callista wasn't I mean, invited. He does that with LeBlanc. She was. She was a very right. late entry guest gotcha. for vengeance. This yeah, the plus to... one, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's the whole setup. It's, it's kind of like John's describing. It is sort of like a murder mystery. Like everyone's there at this place. It's like an outpost just out on the 
like the shores or outskirts of the Shadow Isles okay. where a bunch of adventurers and it's like the vault that they keep their shit in when they go to and from. So yeah, there's people from everywhere. There's like an Ionian, an Oxian, a, a Pilto, and everyone who's anyone right, <laughs> wants to plunder these islands, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure. Yeah, okay, that sounds super familiar now. I mm. forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wish we did see more of that, although I would love a champion besides Elise that like tries to plunder the Shadow Isles, like a normal person, mm -hmm. not like a weird spider demon who works for LeBlanc. Um, <laughs> well, we see that normal person who tries to plunder from Elise. Does that count? No. <laughs> it does not. Yeah, I, I do agree, though, because like when I was putting together stuff for the Shadow Isles, I kind of realized like this is just like, it's just a little adventure setting within the the bigger setting of Runeterra. You know, there are places like almost almost most regions we'll talk about are are more you know, they're they're alive. They're living cultures and they have these these ideas we can grapple with. But the Shadow Isles doesn't really have any of that, right? It and like the void those like those these two especially are just kind of antagonist places yeah, where just right. monsters come from. Mm-hmm. With some so, exceptions. I'd say York's probably not a monster. He's trying to lay everyone to rest, although Sure. He looks scary. It's like, well, I guess, like, <laughs> yeah, I guess I mean to say is that, like, even the the, ch the champions that are in there are, are either, like, monsters from it or are, like, attempting to combat it. Mm -hmm, right? right? Does that make sense? Like, the setting itself is a monster. Yeah. Contained within sure. our additional monsters. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think, because there's hints, mostly with Maokai's stuff, Maokai can still sense that there's waters of life. Um, somewhere in the Blessed Eye or the Shadow Isles. Do you think Riot will ever heal the Shadow Isles? Uh, I know, that's a big <laughs> question. Uh, sometimes I think about, like, Sorry, when League is ending, you know? Oh, um, that's... F would I, they do I choose anything? not to think about that. I know, right? Because we play <laughs> League a lot. Um. <laughs> I think, if anything, yeah. they would... It would be an MMO expansion. Oh, there would be a cleansing of the Shadow Isles type thing. That dude. would be oh. in fucking incredible, dude. God, dude. Oh my god, dude. Like, ah, <laughs> you're just making me upset that that, that thing's gonna take forever to I come would, out. And who I knows? These things will probably never happen. Right? Right. We we'll probably will have to. I know. I will. I don't care. <laughs> That's a great idea. I would love for them to wrap up some big. Um, things plot in Runeterra plot lines yeah in Runeterra um the champions still go on it's fine you yeah. know in the game it's okay um yeah I think if anything maybe a part of the Shadow Isles would be healed but I don't know I yeah, would love to see I, I, it I mean for sure it, I th it's definitely something where like that's the only context that would feel appropriate because otherwise like everything kind of needs to persist for there to you never know you might need another a shadow isles jungler yeah. or something right you know <laughs> mm -hmm. what i mean it's um, true. which is is hard and i'm kind of i don't know i'm i'm more okay with it kind of existing as just sort of a, a persistent blight on the world because it's just yeah. a, a generator for adventures and stories and things is fine yeah that's true right yeah i guess it's it's hard too because like kind of like we've been talking around it's also I feel like a region that's got a lot of like plot development. Does that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. um, a lot of motion there for you know for for a place that largely right now is the same as it was as when we were first introduced to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Exactly. It's it's kind of it's kind of weird. I don't know. It, <laughs> Right though, like that's a really good point. Is that like you, we have these uh, these places that we could really grapple with some more meaty, complex conflicts and things. And instead, I don't know. Maybe that's because maybe because it's so straightforward, it's it's easier to write a big thing for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like that's got to be part of it. Because I was when I was putting together the list of like, oh, here's some stories you could read to like get a feel for the Shadow Isles. It was kind of striking how many of them are sort of. S sort of similar and sort of what goes on and then mm. a champion shows up and it's spooky right <laughs> yep uh, yeah. watch out for the dead <laughs> there's dead yeah. people here did you know that <laughs> and they're not bad stories or anything I mean if you like horror I think you know Shadow Isles is a great place to start getting into Runeterra um, I don't know maybe it's like maybe it's like a double edged sword right where like Shadow Isles is pretty cohesive I feel like compared to some other regions in terms of how it's presented. Um, you know... But it comes... 
It's surprise. So you say that. <laughs> I feel I like wrong. Maybe it's just Shadow Isles would be a great place for horror, right? Mm. I don't feel like we get a lot of horror no. in Shadow Isles in the stories. It's a lot of violence <laughs> for sure. But I feel like we almost get more horror in uh, Zon <laughs> than interesting. In Shadow Isles. Very interesting. There's something. I mean, I guess I'd have to like look at my list here. Like, I really I think, think the of newest like... one is good for that. Like the, um, the Alawi, the um, Alawi one, the Alawi one. Like, I think there's a lot of really good kind of atmospheric type, you know, crew slowly disappearing as you're venturing further mm-hmm. in. Like, I, I think that one did a pretty good job at it. But like, uh, the Hecarim one, the Maokai one. It's a lot of ghosts, but it's all a lot of like. Murder! Not a lot of... Which I guess uh, some people... That's horror for some people, I guess. I, I should count it, but I don't know. It's str- it hits me different, you know? <laughs> I would look at things like um, like Burial at Sea, which was a Karthus story, and uh, that, that Elise story. Like I'm looking at my little list here, Strand by Silk and <laughs> Strand, um, and Inside a Land. Like These three, which, funny enough, are just like... They're kind of what I was complaining about, and that they're just mostly stories where uh, spooky things are happening with a champion. Um, I think also I remember each of these having some nice kind of creepy imagery. I did like that um, Elise one a lot for that. I think. I remember, remember. Yeah, I always remember from the Carthus one the the image of like they've got all these people who have died and are wrapped up in like sacks, and as he's walking by them, they start sort of moving and wriggling around, and they're compared to like maggots or something. I was like, eh, I kind of like that imagery. I don't know. <laughs> But, um, I could see that. I, I think another important thing that we forgot to mention mm-hmm. about the, the the whole ruination that started this thing was that Zillion caused it, and Soraka helped. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah his, his fucking don't, accomplice, his partner in crime. <laughs> don't ever forget that. <laughs> I somehow always will. do. I always just want to blame Viego because of his stupid like hot cross bun abs. <laughs> But truly, Thresh is more responsible than anybody. Which is ironic, because he's not even in the Shadow Isles anymore. He fucked right off. <laughs> he's too good for the Shadow Isles now, <laughs> you know? Going back would be like going back to high school. You know, he can't do it. It's kind of true. Right? He, he, he went and got Viego's hot cross buns. <laughs> he did. And then he was stole like, them. now I'm too good for this place. <laughs> look, look at them. Look at these abs. <laughs> I'm going to fucking knock this. This is true. He did. <laughs> He did equip them, right? Did <laughs> you actually you defeat Diego and you pick up an item and it's <laughs> pale hot cross bun abs? It's like fucking Mega Man. <laughs> right? Is, oh, oh, God. Yeah, just his belly. Mm-hmm. You got the gut buster. <laughs> gut buster. Uh, but yeah, Soraka did have a dumbass part where she's like just telling Callista, yeah, I don't know, maybe you could go here. Like, bitch. <laughs> You know, if you'd stop speaking in riddles for one second. One second. Could have told Callista, listen, Queen already dead. Because Callista didn't know that yet. Uh, She's out wandering around hoping that she could save the Queen. No. (laughs) She died. Sorry. Please -hmm. don't throw corpses in the sacred holy water. (laughs) We bathe in these people. (laughs) That's our drinking water. That's our drinking water. Yucky. (laughs) Use the corpse water over there, okay? <laughs> There's so much of it. <laughs> yeah, I had a question about the the current state of the, the Shadow Isles, which is that do harrowing still happen? I mean, we talked about I feel like we had a, that question. Yeah, did we did we talk about it? I'm sorry, I forgot. It was when no, it was when we were creating our own champions, and I had wondered if the Shadow Isles oh, still right. existed. Yeah, 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 you're right. Or the not the Shadow Isles, the harrowings were still happening. Um, yeah, because Viego is kind of sealed away now, but they were happening without Viego before. So. Yeah. So I'm confident that they are still happening. Sure. Is it just because I'm standing. right? He's a Halloween thing yes. to happen every year. Yeah, now they do. <laughs> I don't even think they do the harrowings anymore. They that don't used really to be the anymore. Halloween event. Um, yeah. Which was fun. Yeah, that's, that's because they need to write something for that. Whereas Ooh. this, they can just. Come up with their weird Tim Burton skins. Fun Tim Burton skins. <laughs> I should. Yeah. I do like them. I shouldn't mock them. I like them too. I. I will. I almost bought them, but I'm, <laughs> I've got under ten thousand RP now. It's, we tighten the purse strings around here, man. But uh, 
Yeah, I, I think I, it's, it's kind of a shame because I think the idea of the hair wings is, is really fun. Um, and I really would like them to do them again more i think the whole state of the, the shadow isles right now is a big question mark for me i know i would like to see harrowings elsewhere though like it almost seems like that's what they try to do with um the ruination not the ruination the like the rise, rise of the of sentinels the, yeah. the rise of the sentinels yeah but it just seemed like to spread everywhere whereas i think the shadow or the mist kind of spreading in a different direction and suddenly showing up on the shores of what would have been West, I'm not sure. I can't picture it. You can do <laughs> Noxus. You can get a Thionia. You could even do. They went straight maybe west to be Ishtal. Like, that actually would be fucking riveting, because sure. Ishtal yeah. so be separated cool. from the world. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people don't even know that there's a world outside of Ishtal. So having this like, I don't know, demon corpse mist coming through. <laughs> I wonder if they could the make it into itself, Ishtal. I'm curious. I mean, they too. made it into Ionia, and Ionia is pretty land magical too, so they yeah. probably could. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the mist itself, in description, when you're inside, it sounds so damn scary. Right. Um, it's not just like a creepy mist, and then it burns your skin and you die or something. It's like very hell just Thousands of souls <laughs> there, and sometimes yeah. Tecrum, <laughs> who will brutally <laughs> murder you. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. Hecram's in there. You better hope Hecram's not in your mist. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you gotta roll the hard six sometimes. I think it was in the the, the spoiler of Havenfall, right, where they describe like some guy riding a horse through it, and just for the moment, doesn't it feel like there's like just a bunch of hooks like yeah. oh, running through yeah. his skin and stuff? Mm -hmm. Like you said, Hell Super Hellraiser, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we always I, Hell Smoke. I think was was how I ended up referring to it a lot. Which I thought was kind of. A, yeah, that's but more like appropriate that, right? than yeah. the mist. Yeah, you know? the mist. The, the mist black makes mist. it sound way more not so harmless. bad. A nice misty day. It's not yeah. terrible. You know? We've all seen that's the mist. True. There's no scares there. <laughs> you know, the uh, mist is like in my top comedy films, and people don't. <laughs> I don't think they understand. The the mist is that the one with with uh, Thomas Jane, or am I, I thinking of? Is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> really, I've. I, I've never seen it. I've heard it was, it was good. It's but not maybe it's really not. supposed to be funny. I think it was just yeah. That's the thing. My so headspace I, at the time. I really thought it was okay. funny. <laughs> I'm curious now. Um, we should all watch The Mist. It's been a while since I've seen okay. it. Yeah, put it's it on the list. Time. It's better Let's than Fog. It. So right. Although the original Fog's not bad. <laughs> More horror movie Rex. That's right. Good. Now moving um, kind of along the timeline a little bit. We mentioned oh, Rise sure, of the yeah. Sentinels, mm -hmm. which is. Kind of the next things that happens in in the Shadow Isles. Uh, I guess you got Ruin King, but Ruin King is just kind of like we end up back where we start, sort of, right? Literally, it's fucking pointless, yeah. dude. Which was kind of yeah. I have I've, I've kind of combined those two, I guess. Mm. Together. Okay, sure, that's fine. Um, that's fine. But yeah, Ruined King comes before my um, so basically Thresh and Gangplank woke up Viego because they wanted to use his power to take over Bilgewater, but they were weak as hell, so he took over Gangplank. And used him to fight the Ruined King folks. Um, while he looked very sold, he was briefly captured, but then was quickly freed and went on a rampage looking for all the pieces of his sold soul to bring her back, which he did. She was not happy about it. Uh, so the Sentinels laid her to rest for good, sealed Viego, and forgot about Thresh, or <laughs> ran from him, depending on which version of the story you believe is canon. <laughs> <laughs> they had a few different uh, Rise of the Sentinels iterations and there. And none, none of them were good. Well, that's the crazy part about it all. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that whole ceiling kind of is what, I mean, I guess led to Nila, I guess, now. On, mm. on her own little rampage but post ruination york is still chilling here trying to defeat the black mist by using its power against it um although not sure where he's at post maiden because that was kind of i mean that was part of the whole sentinels of light event was he gave up the maiden um so i don't know what, where the fuck that's all about now she back uh, he, he, they all come back, back man uh, <laughs> thresh has broken free from the shadow isles and is collecting souls in noxus um and uh yeah that's uh that's pretty much it viego's kind of sealed in camivore now he's not in the shadow isles anymore and neela's pissed about that but, yeah because uh, people live around there yeah she's like hey you sealed this angry ex-husband <laughs> <laughs> next door to me he sucked in life and he's really bad in death <laughs> yeah he's just the absolute worst 
What if maybe it's like a cool dragon to fly him back to the Shadow Isles? Uh, you really it would, would that make you like him more? You're trying to redeem Viego. <laughs> what if we gave him a sweet dragon mount? <laughs> Does the dragon also have hot cross bun apps? <laughs> uh, it has to, but it's also magic. undead. That's Ooh, the stick. All right, that I mean that's kind of cool. It's just looking like ruined uh, Shivana. <laughs> it would. Uh, yeah, it, honestly, it, right. Uh, I mean, it would probably be one of Smolter's folks, right? That's another yeah. random thing they added in after the fact. Is Smolter's yeah, I'm just, family? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just biting people. on the um, <laughs> the undead elder dragon from last episode. To be honest with you, I know that thing's so. <laughs> I just cool. remembered that, and I was like, "Well, we'll, we'll use that <laughs> IRL." Right? That would be cool. Uh, yeah. I have a few notable things about the Shadow Isles. Oh, okay. That I thought was worth mentioning because it, it sure, shows yeah. up. It doesn't show up a lot, but you know, it's it's something. Sure. We've got the lost. Now these are yeah. the spirits of the dead, who are not technically part of the mist yet. They just hang out in the shadow isles, slowly forgetting who they are over time. Um, I I feel like. I'm gonna, f- I'm gonna do a little fact check. I'm gonna pull out Realms of Rune Terra because I because I oh, saw this shit. come up a lot too. It's on Universe page too. It's also on Realms of Rune Terra. I feel like this is just the way Riot wanted to refer to the the souls in the old Shadow Isles, and then dropped the the point entirely. Mm, um, that sounds right. Well, because I think it comes up in the Ruined King a lot right. too. Because you Does meet really? you meet a lot of ghosts in the ruined that king who aren't part of the mist are and they they are all in the process of forgetting everything that some have already forgotten everything they know but um i think the only one who <clears throat> remembers a lot of shit is necrit for obvious reasons but um you do meet a so lot I'm, of those ghosts it is true um i'm gonna quote the realms of rune terra I and mean, you can read this how you will or it's just that uh, the spirits of the dead are often mournfully referred to as, quote, the lost. For the most part, a dead soul trapped in the Shadow Isles will slowly diminish, forgetting who it was in life. However, the most powerful specters appear to have retained much of their personality and desires even after the ruination, stalking the weak and vulnerable for all eternity. So I feel like this was just the broad way of describing. Oh, there, oh you know what else it was? This is all. There's one other thing. Sorry. Um. So in Realms of Rune Terror for the Shadow Isles section, they have a little in-universe note Ooh. that is written from someone to someone. There is no to or from on it, unfortunately. Um, however, I want to say that in here, they also refer to the Lost, um, where it became... Weaker spirits of the Lost may only be able to manifest during a harrowing. It seems more powerful entities may be able to blah, blah, blah. Um, so I feel like... My point being, I think this was just a cool way for referring to all the dead, the evil souls on in the Shadow Isles. Whenever this book was written, which was like, uh, what's the <laughs> copyright date? A while. A while. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, what determined someone being a part of the mist, and then someone just being a lost soul? I think, it, well, like I said, I think when this was written. Oh, this book's just gonna fall. They were the same. I think they were the same. Yeah. Okay. I think this was just like, but um. I like the idea more of what you're proposing, John, that it's a separate sort of group. Like almost. maybe they were not anywhere near Helia um, when that, the rumination like, happened. Maybe that, or think like Ledros as he's kind of yeah. depicted as a ghost. Ledros, now, I do he, think of him as part of the mist, but he can escape it kind of thing. Because he's one of thing. the powerful... Like, yeah. the, he's one of the strong Spirits. entities. Because it also said like the strong entities as they become kind of ghost-like too, while they lose a lot of themselves, they do retain, they almost like, they focus in specifically on what was whatever their strongest attribute was almost. And, and Ledros was really like loyal. So he became a, an extra super loyal dead guy. <laughs> Um, Spur the loyal ghost. (laughs) (laughs) Or Ledros, whatever. Ledros, the loyal ghost. The loyalist ghost, you know. (laughs) The way I kind of imagined it, though, is that um, almost like like the Day of the Dead or something like that, where like the ghosts that are stuck around slowly forgetting who they were are the ones who still have a a bit of themselves left to forget. Mm. And eventually they are going to become part of the mist as soon as there's oh, okay. nothing left for them to forget. Like they've forgotten it all and 
and now they're yeah. now they're just this mindless mist monster. Mm. Man, <laughs> I feel like that would be a really good champion. This like yeah. this ghost who's sort of trying. I mean, it could just be Ledros. To be fair, who's right. trying I to? I really um, want Ledros uh, to be a fucking champion, dude. But yeah, we don't trying even to have any to like good flail champions, like other than. I mean, I guess Sejuani, but it's kind of a yeah, different it's, archetype. Yeah, it's just the boar. The boar thing is bigger for her. Um, but yeah, I like. I really like what you proposed of like a ghost or a spirit who's kind of still has some part of themselves they're trying to desperately cling to. Right. Uh, it's fun. Now we did talk about a little about the unnamed order. So this was the the group specifically. Um, dedicated to hunting out those dangerous artifacts. Um, so it's worth mentioning that Tyrus, who was Rise's teacher, um, was in the order, as was Rise, as was Thresh, though Thresh was a custodian who guarded <laughs> the artifacts, not one of the cool ones who went out to go get them. <laughs> um, but they still shouldn't have even kept him around. Nah, he is, was... You learn a lot about him in uh, the Ruination book, and basically he was. They're like, this guy's a fucking creep weirdo. We're gonna put him in the basement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with all the magical artifacts. No supervision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No supervision. Literally, and he like lured people down there to like torture and murder them without anybody ever knowing. Yeah. And um, he and he tortured the artifacts. That was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't know like, if that's still canon, but it is beautifully petty. It's so good. Uh, yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna learn more, but I think that the the Ruination book is just a great. Fresh was into the Thresh. the best part of that book by far. Um, and seeing like how much he's responsible for, and how clever he is, and how he is the big bad here without anybody fucking knowing that he is it is really fascinating yeah and now he's the big bad elsewhere which is yeah. scary mm-hmm. for the rest of her in <laughs> um and then finally the last thing i had was the brethren of the dusk which was yorick's order of monks who conducted burial rites they all had a vial of water from the waters of life around their neck to kind of keep them safe um until the maiden convinced them all to take it off and join the mist uh Except for Yorick. He was like, uh uh-uh, uh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. You almost had me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the only other things I had, we talked about Helia being kind of the capital of the Blessed Isles. Currently, it's actually where Thresh's Sanctum is, um, mm-hmm. which we I think we learned from the Ruined King game. Um, which is where he imprisons and tortures souls now um, outside of his lamp. (laughs) Um, And the Undead Wilds are another area here, which is previously full of wildlife and magic. Now it's fully twisted. This is home to the Twisted Tree Line (laughs) map previously, where you can find Vilema, the massive spider that gives Elise her powers. Yeah. I do love how you still have a section for government and it's just blank. Yeah, I did <laughs> just erase that. You know, I had a template. I decided to stick with it. <laughs> yeah, there's a number of sections. Culture, it's like, well, mm. <laughs> etc. Right? Yeah, there's a number of things. Is it rude to, to say that culture's this. dead here? Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> uh, now I have a, 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 some champions sure. from here or who live here. <laughs> uh, or who previously lived here? It's gotta suck to live there, man. There's yeah. not a grocery store anywhere. It's not gotta one. suck to die there. That's <laughs> true. Or be dead there, whatever. Uh, now this is, uh, you know, kind of Elisa's home away from home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's got her beachfront property. <laughs> like home. Uh, uh, we've got Gwen, Hecarim, Callista, Karthus, Malkai. Senna lived here for a while, in kind a of. sense. <laughs> yeah, I have an uh, asterisk nest next to yeah. her on this one. <laughs> uh, Thresh, Vex, Viego, and Yorick. Um, and we have a bunch of... Uh, so we also have a, I have a separate one here for people who lived in the Blessed Isles, mm. which would include Rise and Vladimir. Um, and I've got in terms of connected to the Shadow Isles I've got the Sentinels of Light here 
We've got Akshan, Diana, Graves, Aurelia, Olaf, Pike, Rengar, Riven, Vane, and Lucian. And then I've got the Ruined King folks. <laughs> Alawi, Brahm, Misfortune, Ari, a Yasuo, again Pike, and Gangplank. <laughs> and then I've got the Corrupted by Viego folks, where we've got Draven, again Gangplank, <laughs> Karma, again Misfortune, Pantheon, and Shivana. And then finally, we've got the wild finally. card. Finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally, the wild card. Of <laughs> yeah, well, let's think to 102. <laughs> the juice. I think we're Christopher Walken, but you know. <laughs> We need more wild card. <laughs> Our wild card today is LeBlanc. <laughs> Dude, John, I think you fair. mixed. You, did you were you there for Poppy's music class when they had a cowbell as the instrument? No, it oh wasn't. Oh my god! And oh. Rachel was wearing a Christopher Walken shirt that said "Need more cowbell on it." <laughs> it was great. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a. Uh, we got. Did you have anything that? Uh, she's he's onto the fun facts now. Oh yeah. Do oh, we have anything I- to chat about? Uh, I, like I guess what do you yeah. yeah, yeah. want them I wasn't to gonna move do? There oh, oh, sorry, crap. honey. Sorry. Uh, uh, no, 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 go for I it. I was curious. What do you want them to do with the Shadow Isles? I mean, Rebecca, you threw out, like, potentially see it <sighs> properly healed and made better at some point. Mm-hmm. Is that, like... Or drifting off you know, elsewhere. I'm um, down with that. Ooh, the honest, Shadow Isles in motion. I don't know, though. I feel like that's just... I don't find the idea of fighting the mist that interesting um, because you can't really unless you have (laughs) sentinels weapons um, and I don't want them around. Um, They're so so boring. I prefer no. Um, (laughs) Unless like that was now Lucian and Senna's goal was to go to where these harrowings are going to happen and try to push it back. But yeah, I don't really know what I want them to do with the Shadow Isles. I want to see more people there. Maybe people regular people trying to find a way to get in there and like fix it <laughs> sure i can fix I it fine. i can fix him oh my god <laughs> i would be interested in so one of the other things that we know can fight the mist is nagakaboros mm, i'd be mm-hmm. really curious to um maybe explore a little bit if other god because there are a lot of gods on rune terra like is nagakaboros like uh, an anomaly in being able to fight the mist or like can demigods fight it like you know can can volley bear and orn fight the mist i mean can celestial dragons fight the mist (laughs) like who else can actually we didn't really get a chance to to see we know that the aspects can't so that's mm. that's one thing down because Mist fucked up Pantheon and Diana apparently needed a fun Sentinel weapon too. So like, I want to see the Mist versus the Void. We know the wind beats the sure. Mist. Sure, <laughs> so well. they got big fans out and Piltover. Big fans, yeah. <laughs> void Mist or some sort of like union of the two could be pretty could be pretty oh, spicy. Oh, oh, that's so scary. God be ruined Belveth. Sure, dude. Don't even fucking don't even fucking tease me with what could have been, man. Uh, Come on. I think Paul Vaz is too smart. that shit in my face. Yeah, and too strong. I have to imagine. Yeah. Although that's that's one thing. Like, just in general, Void versus Undead. I'm curious Curious how they stack up. Yeah, because they want to devour all life, but the dead ain't alive, (laughs) right? My life gone done, been devoured already. (laughs) It's like what happens when Carthus is there. Does that work for them? We're like, okay, that's cool. It's okay, like a little yeah, loophole. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so just this works. Spread this mist around, so then you're all kind of dead, and I can live with that. Sure, or what? Yeah, I don't know. I, I agree with you, Rebecca. I don't really know what I want to do with them either. It's just, it's in. Like I said, they've they've done so much with it. I kind of want them to just leave with the fuck alone. I, yeah, I'm there too. I feel like <laughs> we've had big events. I'd rather see attention brought elsewhere. Um, and if you're ever going to look at the Shadow Isles again, do it through the eyes of Yorick or Maokai, um, yeah. the people who are there and trying to fix it. Um, maybe they can meet. <laughs> oh. 
It's a, That's like too crazy now. There's like two people alive on this <laughs> island trying to fix it, and they've never run into each other. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hey, there's a lot of islands, you know? That's true. It's, it's not uh, just one island. York doesn't like to leave his island. It That's makes true. him he uncomfortable. He's not good very far away. <laughs> Yeah. The only other thing is, like, I don't know if you want to throw out some recommendations for, like, stories, comics, oh, like, yeah, some pieces yeah. to Actually, look at if you want to get into the, the last region. I had here now that I'm thinking okay. about it. Um, I only had four here, which I'm sure you had all four of them, too, but I think my favorite ones were Will of the Dead by Laura Miche, um, Shadow and Fortune by Graham McNeil, um, which doesn't take place in the Shadow Isles, but there's a lot of Shadow Isle folks in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Echoes Left Behind by Anthony Reynolds, Lene, and Night Bloom by Rayla Hyde. Yeah, I had, I did have all those. Oh, I don't, I didn't have, um, I did have the Alawi one, but I mean, I, I totally agree with it. I actually kind of like, I think if you really want to get a sense for the Shadow Isles in the quickest amount of time, you should read The Princeling's Lament. It's like a quick, like, <laughs> pop-up book of, like, here's all the uh, Shadow Isles champions but lo- in a fun little poem, and it also kind of gives a nice true. flavor for it. Um, if you have Realms of Rune Terror, obviously, check out The Daring Darling. And then uh, the only other one I remember really standing out, I had a few more, but they're all kind of, they're all fine. I really liked um, Inside of Land, which is that Callista story. Um, uh, that one I thought was pretty effective. I, I, I like that one by... Um, Anthony Reynolds' Lene. And obviously the Ruination novel is, is yeah, kind of that's like gonna be required your best, reading. Like, taste of... Uh, it takes place mostly in the Blessed Isles. Yeah, which is, really interesting. Which is nice. And you're seeing mm-hmm. all of these moments leading up to the Ruination itself. For um, sure. Um, yeah, because there's, yeah, there, there's outside of the stories, there's a few other kind of, like, media that will also kind of get you up to speed with this. I think the, the Ruination novel's great. I think Ruination will take you up to... The Shadow Isles. Mm-hmm. I think the ruined king, the ruined king game, is a great exploration of the Shadow Isles post ruination. Yes, yeah, because um, you spend a lot of time in the game uh, in there, right? Yeah, and, and, yeah. You get to see a lot of really cool stuff, and you get to see like not just kind of the the creepy aspects that you see in the stories. You get to see a lot of, um, you know, because in the ruination, you hear about the Blessed Isles being this bastion of experimentation and science and you don't I feel like see any of that in any of the Shadow Isles stories. It's just like ghosts. <laughs> ghosts, yeah. ghosts, ghosts and more ghosts. Um, in the Ruined King, sure you get the ghosts, but you also get to see like, oh okay, there's some really cool technologically <laughs> advanced shit here <laughs> along with all the ghosts. Um, but it's a really mm-hmm. it's a really cool exploration of what was actually going on there. Um, in terms of cinematics, like None Escape is good, good thresh one. You get to see a lot of Shadow Isles there. Uh, the Harrowing Tales of the Black Mist is uh, it's an oldie but a goodie. Yeah, that's um, fun. And then, if you want, if you want to learn all about the Sentinels <laughs> of Light and their whole shtick here, you can watch these cinematics in this order: The Climb. Dark Passage, Shadows Embrace, Ruination, The Story So Far, Before Dawn, Chapter 1 Recap, Chapter 2 Recap, Chapter 3 Recap, Into Absolution. Um, All of those recaps are Akshon narrating all of the highlights of the Sentinels of Light event so that you don't have to go back and read them. Man, I'm I'm really curious to go watch those and compare his description, his like his summary to my understanding of the story. You know what I mean? He makes it sound way more interesting. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm sure. Hearing it told through Akshon is uh, way better. What did we What did we could all live our lives through Akshon's eyes, man? <laughs> it would all be more uh, interesting, next time, right? Next time you feel like your life is boring or you're not confident in yourself, just imagine Akshon describing what you did. For the first three hours of your day. <laughs> 30 minutes uh, on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Something... <laughs> or was it just like you got re- like reading, like you were doom scrolling? What's up? No, I'm fine. I have a two year old. I could not spend 30 minutes on the toilet. <laughs> right? God, it's just willing. something men do. <laughs> I can't even go to the toilet alone. Marvel's not going to snap itself. <laughs> 
<laughs> She'd be like, 45 seconds on the toilet with her toddler trying to lift her up and drag her out of the bathroom. <laughs> uh, now, I do have some fun facts. If, mm. uh, mm-hmm. you know, sure. if y'all want to hear them. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you all know because you know we all read the same wiki page. But I don't read the fun facts because I know you're Ooh. so excited to deliver them to us. Well, the Blessed Isles architecture was inspired by real-life Carthage, ancient Alexandria, and Rome, mainly Mediterranean architecture. Ooh, very pretty. I like it. The twisted tree lion was initially described as the last living forest of Zaun, but was then retconned to be a location oh. in the Shadow Isles for the <laughs> the twisted tree lion remake. <laughs> That is interesting, yes, the idea yeah. that there's, like, a forest that survived what happened in Zon and how, like, horrible it would be. Now yeah. we've got that one tree that survived in Arcane and... <laughs> oh, the sad dead kid's tree. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it that, but they should. we know it's not, that it's... <laughs> it didn't catch on. <laughs> That's what they call it in Piltover. <laughs> Uh, Headless Hecarim, Haunted Maokai, and Underworld Twisted Fate uh, were released to celebrate the remake of the Twisted Tree Line map. Mm. In Wild Rift, a new ranked emblem for the game's league system was introduced, and Shadow Isles represented the emblem for the Wild Rift Emerald rank. So if you made it to Emerald, you're Shadow Isles. You're haunted. Enjoy what's left of your life. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll never be emerald, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, certain kinds of poros reside in the Shadow Isles. They were most likely betrayed or dead. I did <sighs> see that on the wiki that there was at least, at least one poro one. <laughs> on the Shadow Isles. I was like, why would you do this to him? <laughs> He's living his best life. Betrayed specifically. Like, that's enough. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe he came over with, we know that, <laughs> new head cannon for this, by the way. We know in Ruined King that Brom came to the island with no. Poros. Oh, because he uses no. them to Don't solve fucking puzzles. Eve it. <laughs> Do Brom not fucking even. N- never <laughs> betray a Poro. John. Not intentionally, but, uh, you know. Don't do this to my boy. He, uh, I mean, you the puzzle what? solving elements for Brom. Is there's a hole that's too high, tiny for the team to get through? He sends a Poro through there. They do their thing. Yeah. It's possible one didn't make it back. God that's damn, all I'm you're... saying. You know what? I kind of like it because it's a really compelling motivation for Brom to go save that Poro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he that would. would be great. He would go back to save a Poro. Yeah. Ruin oh. King too. That's the that's the plot. <laughs> <laughs> back for the Poro. <laughs> <Back>. <laughs> And finally, the Black Mist can manifest anywhere in Runeterra. Oh. Um, through the harrowing, but due to its proximity to the Shadow Isles, it hits them the most. Because it's a little bit lazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's lazy. God, I don't know, guys. Let's out? just do Bilge Water. <laughs> Wait, what, are you going to get out of here? <laughs> uh, we had Bilge Water last year. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone so far, man. I'm There's so a big dragon. Tired. Can it beat us? I don't even know if it can beat us. Let's stay away from the dragon, guys. <laughs> Oi. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about yeah, it, there's okay. actually a lot of miscellaneous gods in various other places other than... Although there's a god in Bilgewater that can beat them too, so I don't know why they choose that one. I don't know. Not like a challenge. <laughs> oh, maybe. Uh, she chills underwater most of the time. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, Those are the Shadow Isles. The Shadow Isles. Um, I did mention that we would do a, a call out, I guess, to episodes if you really wanted to do a deep dive oh, here. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So we do have an oh, episode sure. that is one specifically dedicated to the Ruination novel. Yes. We do have a episode that is specifically dedicated to... Um, the Ruined King on Patreon for gameplay, but then I think, didn't we do like a, a Ruined King lore recently? I think for... you guys might have. I wasn't a part of the episode. 
We talked about it a bit. I mean, we did talk about it a bit in the Ari re- revisit because she's I think that I don't yeah, the Ari revisit. Yeah. We talk about Ruined King quite a bit. So yeah, so listen to the Ari revisit if you want more of the Ruined King lore specifically. And then we do have a two-parter Sentinels of Light. If Rise you really want to dig into Rise of the Sentinels, um, spoiler: can... we didn't like it. Although part two yeah, is see. way more negative than part one, I think. <laughs> Um, um, yeah. But if you want a deep dive on all things Shadow Isles related, those episodes they'll they'll hook you up. Yeah, and then all mm-hmm. the champions we talked about: Callista, Viego, Thresh. You know. Yeah, the ones that were that are getting talked about a lot, especially. Mm-hmm. Right. Carthus, yeah. he's just there. Don't worry too much about Carthus. Hey, don't worry about yeah. Carthus. <laughs> <laughs> Give now him a pass, Yorick. dog. <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah. Well, it's a shorter one. Watch any good horror movies lately? Uh, Without watched, you? No. That's true. <laughs> well, we, we did watch the original the Pulse. That was it. You watched the original what? Pulse. Oh, Pulse kinda... with like Kristen Bell? Th- that's the American remake. We watched the ah, original fuck. Japanese one. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's was interesting. It? It, has some really effective, it has some really effective sequences. And then it Ooh. also was like some moments that were kind of like awkwardly awkward or I don't know. It didn't work. But yeah. those scary moments were pretty good. So I nice. recommend it. Oh, yeah, we did watch The Blackening. That was really, really funny. Um, mm-hmm. And then I just watched As Above, So Below. You watched the end of oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I watched I liked What'd that. What you think of it? I, I, yeah, I, I did it like too. it a lot. I don't like found footage as often because um, I get sick sometimes. But mm-hmm. um, as long as I'm not in the theater, it's usually okay. And it was, like, I think not so bad, the found footage aspect of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wasn't really sure what I was getting into, but I liked it a lot. I liked the vibes a lot. Very Descent which is yes. one of my favorite horror movies ever. Um, yeah. I watched the last 20 minutes. seemed pretty chill. <laughs> I think you watched like the last half with me, which <laughs> honestly was when things really started going off That was when things the popped off. Yeah, things, things were really yeah. popping off. I had yeah. a lot of questions. I'm... Honestly, it was really easy to just, so I'm like, oh, they're looking for the Philosopher's Stone. They're in the catacombs of Paris. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Under yeah. Paris. Yeah. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple premise, frankly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was the Shadow Isles. Thank you so much for listening. Um, we have Twitch, twitch.tv slash lorehedge. John streams there on Saturday evenings. EST, he does um, usually TFT Day Rooms with viewers. Uh, last week, he did some um, some indie games. He might be jumping into some of those again for a little bit here and there. TFT, not clicking with you. You, you seem mad at it. This this this, <laughs> this split has not, not been... Not your most successful one. <laughs> mm-hmm. it, wasn't, it hasn't been the most fun. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, honey. Well, oh, hopefully the next one's not, better. Not a fan of charms. Mm. I could do without those for next split. <laughs> but you're so charming. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also have a YouTube if you want to see our lovely, wonderful faces. John's sophisticated sweater. Um, you can check out our YouTube. <laughs> sophisticated hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> and Mark's sophisticated bathrobe. It's not uh, a bathrobe. Santa Claus outfit. Uh, <laughs> it's not a bathrobe? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. What? No, it's not a bathrobe. It's just a regular robe. What I'm is cold. the difference? Okay. Um, <laughs> a bathrobe is when you're old. It's when you're wet, right? Like you got a okay, shower, so you put on a bathrobe. It's just... like a towel. This is not terry cloth. He put it on when he was dry, so it doesn't count. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't know the rules. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Um, we also have a Discord. If you want to find some people to chat with, play League with, you can check out our Discord. And we have a Patreon. Thank you so much to all of our patrons. Mm, but a very special thank you to our Madarda tier patrons, Mr. Dead and King of Hearts. If you were on the Shadow Isles, I would get you off the Shadow Isles. Why Whoa. are you in the Shadow Isles? Yeah, get There's, out of there. If you're there for artifacts, I'll, I'll pick them up for you. Just order it on DoorDash or something. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Free two-day delivery. <laughs> oh, I like that. Um, well, ghost easy. mates. Oh, ghost! Oh, oh fuck, nailed Mark. it. That was so good. <laughs> ah, ghost mates. There's a new skin line for you, right? No, it like did turn out postage. too sexy. <laughs> They'll turn out too sexy. Is that what you just? Said? It's called Ghost Mates. Ghost you know mates. what would happen? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, guys! That's not what I was thinking. You're both perverts. It's Ghost the robe, Bates. isn't it? It's the robe. Yeah. <laughs> it's that Hefner robe. It does. It's very Hefner. <laughs> um, um, please be sure to join us next week as we talk about something we're not sure yet. 
The scariest um, thing of all. It's the unknown. The Teemo rework? There's, it's just a visual one. No, he's got new lore. Oh, new lore. Yeah. Well, that, you know, honestly, maybe we could do more of a classic, a classic sort of revisit, not like just going back to the, someone, but kind of picking up some new stuff. You know, funny enough, um, there were a couple of little new Callista cinematics for Wild Rift that I found as a part of looking in, at the Shadow Isles. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we figured it out. Be sure to join us next week. We are going to talk about Timo's rework and new Callista cinematics. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs>